What is up guys? Welcome back to Creative Readers Etc. The channel where Lexi spends too much money. And also that we do creative things that sometimes involve reading, etc. Today's video, as you might have guessed from both the title and my cryptic intro, we're talking about books that I've bought during quarantine. Because, as you all know, if unless you've been living under a rock, we have been in a state of quarantine for these past, like, what is it, three months now? Four months? Something like that. And I have had nothing to do with my life, except now I have a job. But before that, I only acquired one recently, so before that, I had nothing to do but read books. And I read all the books on my glorious shelf, so I had to acquire new ones. And I have acquired quite a few new ones. I'm not even sure if this is all on camera or not. It's a large stack. And most of them have already been read, some have not. But we're going to talk about them today. What they are, why I bought them, how I enjoyed them, if I've already read them. And without further ado, let's pull up the stack. Here's the stack. I'm not even sure if this is all on camera or not. It's a large stack. But these are actually not all of the books that I bought during quarantine because I ordered one that's not gonna come in until August. But, books. And I plan to buy some more. All right, so first up in our lineup, we've got the full and complete Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. All five of them, they are in paperback. I wanted to get hardcover, but I could not find the hardcover set because I wanted the set because I didn't want to have to wait for each individual book to come in. I have read the series before, but I reread them not too long ago because I wanted to because the Percy Jackson movie was on TV. And we all know how trash that is, so I wanted to just refresh my memory of how the books actually went because this was my childhood that's it. This was my childhood. Also, I'm sorry about the crackling. My cat is playing with her noisy toy. Let me go fix that. I need you to not make that noise. Okay. So, I wanted to revisit this series, rekindle my love for it, and it worked. I'm very glad I did. Also, they look really cool when they're all next to each other. And now she found a plastic bag. So this is my first purchase of quarantine. Maybe. These are not in order. I don't remember what order I bought them in. This is just the way I have them laid out. And this is the first one. So I'm going to pop these back on my shelf and we'll move it right along. All right, so the next book that I have purchased during quarantine is book six of the Rangers Apprentice series. I am currently trying to build my collection of this series so that I will be able to reread it at whim if I want, because Cassandra is going to college and I will not be able to borrow her books anymore. I have six books of this series now. I picked this one up not towards the beginning of quarantine, I think. I picked this one up a while ago. Paperback, I have all of the series that I have right now is paperback. I probably will keep it that way because I have the Throne of Glass series here, but only one of them is hardcover and it really bothers me. So I try to get all paperback or all hardcover because I'm picky. But uh, book six, Ranger's Apprentice. Not much to this. I'm just trying to collect the series. All right. Next up in our list, we've got Legendary, which is the second book of the Caraval series. I have not read the third book, but I want to buy that one. So that might be going on to this list. Look how gorgeous this is. Like, I can just see it reflecting in the back of my uh, phone right now. Hashtag exposing myself. I'm using a phone to record this. But it, it's, it's really pretty and I love it. This was a really good book, by the way. I thoroughly enjoyed reading it. I cannot wait to read the third one. I bought this off of Amazon. Also towards the beginning of quarantine, around the same time that I bought my collector's editions of Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. And I'm very pleased with my purchase. I'm very glad I bought it. I can't wait to finish out the series and have it looking gorgeous on my shelf. 
Next up, we have The Case for Jamie. This is hardcover, as you can tell. It is the... It's the third book in the Charlotte Holmes series, which I've been steadily collecting over an amount of time. And this was the last book that I needed to complete the set. So now that I have it, I might reread it eventually. I have read it before, and I did enjoy the series thoroughly, except the last book. I did not like the last book, like, at all. But if I do reread the series, I'll just not reread the last book, pretend it doesn't exist, and move along with my life. But I'm glad I picked this up, because now I have the satisfaction of another complete series on my shelf. This is The Betrothed by Kiara Cass. I picked this up from Walmart actually not that long ago, like only a couple of weeks ago. And I have finished reading it because the only reason I got it was because I wanted a new book to read and this was the only book that they had at Walmart that looked interesting and I'm too impatient to wait to go to Half Price Books or order one from Amazon. So I got this from Walmart and it's about the quality you'd expect from Walmart. <laughs> it was not that good. It was below average. The characters were dry. The only character that actually had any personality that I cared about was uh, the guy who got dumped. I'm not gonna say who or what, but it, a guy got dumped. Fun fact. And I, is, I, I couldn't get behind this book. I couldn't. I was into it for about the first 30 pages, and then I was like, this is just gonna be a stupid love triangle book. This is a Hallmark movie, but in a book. Like, it's dry. It's boring. I was not that thrilled with it. I mean, the cover is pretty. I do like the gold and everything, but it's not really, it wasn't worth my time or my money. Sorry, I've heard that Kiara Cass's other books are really good, so I might give those a try. But I've just never liked love triangle books that much, or stories in general, or anything. I don't like love triangles. I just don't. I mean, unless they're done, like, really, really, really well. It's just boring to me. So, this book was a no-go, but I bought it during quarantine. And we're gonna... So the next two books that I have acquired over quarantine period are the first two books of the the Heroes of Olympus series, which I am currently in the middle of rereading. You saw our 24-hour readathon. You saw me finish this book in one day, and I finished this one a while ago. So I picked these up not that long ago from Half Price Books, hardcover, of course because I already have the first three books of the series, but I didn't have the first two, or the last three books of the series, but I didn't have these first two because I had bor borrowed them from my school when I read it originally. So I picked them up so I could have the full set and I'm rereading them. I love them very dearly. Leo is my favorite. <laughs> Leo is my favorite. I love Leo to no end. Uh, Persebeth for life. Uh, these books are great. If you haven't read any of Rick Riordan's books, you should absolutely do that. He is an amazing author, and he doesn't do stupid things to his characters like somebody. <clears throat> and I love it. So, with that being said, let's move right along. Alright, these two are probably my favorites that I have acquired. They're the collector's editions of Six of Crows and Cooked Crooked Kingdom, and look how freaking gorgeous these are. These were so worth the money that I paid for them, and I'm so very glad that I bought them because they are amazing, and I reread the series because I love it, because it's one of my favorite series ever, and I can't wait for the TV show to come out. I hope that it does it justice. I know it's a Grishaverse TV show. So it incorporates the Shadow and Bones, Bone, blah, 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 the Shadow and Bone series, which I have not read. However, I do plan on it eventually, maybe if I can ever find them at half price books, 
or maybe I'll just give in and buy it off Amazon. I don't know, but either way, these are gorgeous. I love them. I'm very glad I bought them. Like, look how pretty they are next to each other. They're even gorgeous or gorgeous er. <laughs> We're gonna pretend I didn't say that, but we're gonna leave it in for comedic value. <laughs> They're even prettier on my shelf. I love them, and these are probably my favorite purchases of quarantine book-wise. So we're gonna move on to the next one. This is Gina Gold by Cassandra Clare. Cassandra Clare, I think. Please don't kill me. This is, I believe, her newest book. I'm not sure. I am going to be completely honest and upfront with you guys. I've never read a single Cassandra Clare book in my life. I know. I'm a failure. But I intend to start, and this was on sale, so I picked it up. I am going to start with City of Bones, which I have not bought yet. However, I am looking for it. I keep my eye out at half price books and I might just give it in and buy it off of Amazon. I don't know, but I'm going to buy the series in hardcover and it's going to go on my shelf and look very gorgeous even if I don't enjoy them. But I hope I do enjoy them. I've heard good things about them. Maddie's kind of iffy on the writing style, but that's because she's picky. I'm not as picky as Maddie, so we'll see, but hopefully I like them. And this cover is absolutely gorgeous, but I bought this book. And that is all for this book, so we're going to move on to the next book. Alright, this is the final physical book that I have. It is also a Cassandra Clare book, Lady Midnight. I saw this one at Half Price Books, and I wanted to snatch it before it went away, so I would have the first book of this series when I am ready for it. I... Do not like to buy the second book of a series if I haven't read the first one, even if they have it, because they had it, but I didn't want to buy the second book of that series in case I didn't like it, but just because I don't like that one maybe means I might, I don't know, but am I making sense? Just because I don't like the City of Bones series, I don't know what they're called yet, I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> Does not mean I won't like this series, because I believe Maddie likes this series, but she doesn't like City of Bones. So I don't know. I might be wrong. Maddie, come fact check me, if you're even watching this, because we all know you don't watch our videos. <laughs> but I did buy this one, because A, look at the cover, gorgeous, B, hardcover, C, half price books. So, I am going to buy the rest of the books that I need to read this first, which is City of Bones. And that is all of the physical books that I have obtained. However, I have one more. This is Darius the Great Deserves Better, which is not coming out until August of 2020, and I pre-ordered it. That's right, folks. I pre-ordered this book because I loved the first one so very much, and I need to reread it before the second one gets here. So that is what is next on my TBR, because I am thrilled, I'm so excited, I'm ready, I want it to get here now. I cannot wait to read this book. It was so good. It spoke to me on a spiritual level. Go read this book. If you have not read Darius the Great is Not Okay, go read this book and then get the second one and read it because this author deserves so much support and love and I cannot rave about these books enough. Just go read them. Go read these books, please. But yes, I did pre-order the second one and I'm waiting for it to come in anxiously and eagerly. So that does it for the books that I have purchased during quarantine. I have purchased several other things that are not books, but if I talked about all of that, we'd be here for hours. So I'm not going to. Among some of my favorites are $30 Shelf from Michaels, this giant stuffed cat, a new Venus flytrap, and a wax seal stamp kit. But that will do it for this video. <laughs> I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my overspending habits during quarantine. 
If you did like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Check out some of our other videos that will be popping up here and here very shortly. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.